what's going on guys so uh today is saturday and um i have today and tomorrow to get this car done i did nothing to it uh thursday and friday thursday was uh really nice but i didn't feel good and yesterday was really shitty it was cold and kind of rainy and so i didn't touch the car so i got two days to get this shit done and it's like two o'clock right now so let's get started so I'm going to start by getting these rotors off because they are fucking disgusting. They're rusty as fuck. I'm going to take them off and try to sand them. I'm not sure how well that will do. I may have to just replace them. Um, I'm sure I can get them turned, but I mean, for the cost of turning them, it's like, I think it's $13 more and you got a fucking rotor, a brand new rotor. So it's not really worth turning rotors anymore. This is a pretty uh, handy tool. You basically hammer this and it spins it and will impact the Phillips head screw. It's like an impact basically. Looks like the uh, the head of this thing is kind of fucked. All right, now we're gonna get the uh, caliber off. All right, number one. I feel like this is going to be like C's to the rotor. The brake pads were actually fairly new when I, I parked the car, so I'm going to try to clean them up and reuse them. The rotor is uh, pretty pitted, but uh, you know, I'm going to try to sand it down. Why not? I think they turned out okay. There's a little bit of a ridge in here. But, you know, I'm sure I'll stop. Let's get the uh, timing cover off and everything. I've already loosened this. It was a bit of a pain in the ass. It took me forever. But there she is. That did not want to come off. Do not want to lose the woodruff key. All right, let me go find some 10 millimeter sockets. There's another one here. Did I get it? I got it. That fucker. All right, and there's one right there. And we 
got that one. All right, there's one last one right here. Not sure if you can see it because of the sun. There it is, right there. It's like right behind the uh, AC compressor bracket. All right, and that's the last one. There is one more right there. All right, that's the last one. So in order to get the timing belt off, you have to remove these two bolts on the, the mount. You're gonna to wanna to get a two by four and place it underneath your oil pan and jack it up to hold the pressure. Seventeen millimeter, nineteen millimeter. Noise alert. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. Let's try it on the seventeen. Noise alert. Well, we got one. Let's break out the uh, strong arm. Well, that thing is on there. Jesus Christ. Noise alert. I see there's a bolt that goes all the way through I guess that one is a bolt I thought it was a stud and of course the little guy wants to be difficult there's a 17 millimeter bolt that goes all the way through I'm gonna loosen that up that way I can flop this up All right, and we got our timing belt off. This guy looks pretty bad. Dry rod it. All right, so we have uh, a new head gasket, new water pump. We got ARP head studs. And I have a new timing belt somewhere. Just gotta locate it. I was able to find the timing belt. It's uh, nothing special, just a AutoZone belt. And I found the, uh, the valve cover set. So uh, let's get this water pump off. As far as the water pump goes, there are two, four bolts. They're all 10 millimeter and some of them are different sizes. So you need to be careful where you put them back. As you can see here, this sits up a little higher, so this one's probably shorter. I'm sorry, this one's probably longer. Alright, the old one seems to be in pretty good shape. It's pretty stiff, there's no uh, play in it, but we're going to replace it anyway. Let me clean the mating surface first. All right, it looks pretty clean. All right, we got our water pump on. 
and let's wiggle our timing belt through our mount. Noise alert. Noise alert. All right, we got uh, the timing belt on not done and our water pump we need to find a uh, bracket for the the alternator because the supercharger had a bracket there so I removed the factory one and I've got it somewhere I need to find it all right so uh, to keep this video short I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here and pick up on the next video so um, keep on watching, watch the series, and in the next video we'll get the head put on, set the timing, um, and all that shit, I guess. We need to get the, uh, the intake manifold on the head before we put the head on, just because it's easier. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.